Okay. So. <laughs> Always waiting on you. Okay. Sorry. So you're wearing a very huntressy uh, color scheme. Is I that am. what Helena usually wears? Uh, there are hints of purple in uh, most things. Yeah. Um, just, just a little dab here and there, just to suggest <laughs> the right things. But it's definitely um, part, part of the costume, certainly. Yeah. Nice. So with Arrow, with Oliver himself, we see that he's on this mission, obviously, to kind of live by his dad's last words and, and get his retribution. How is your relationship with your father maybe different from that? Well, I think, um, I think Helena comes from a very difficult upbringing in that, you know, she's they're her family, but I think she differs from them in her ideals and what she thinks is right, and so kind of creates a, a conflict for her whereas, you know, Oliver's trying to do what his father wants, I think Helena is the opposite. I think, um, you know, separating yourself from the family is such a big, such a big thing for anybody. I, mean, I like to think I'm a little different from my family. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I mean, it's pretty bold. She has to be a pretty bold person to kind of follow through. What has surprised you thus far in doing the role? What has surprised yeah, me? Yeah, something you weren't expecting, perhaps. Um, it's it's challenging for me um, it, because you know there's I play Helena, but I'm also the huntress, so I have to be able to hold my own. Um, you know, the duality of, of the role is it's, it's, it's challenging. I have to be able to cut and. <laughs> and all of that. And I'm quite feminine in my <laughs> normal everyday. So, uh, you, know, the, you know, the fighting and all of that is, is, is new and interesting for me. But um, it's good. It's good. It's a good thing. I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's um, I'm kind of thrust into it. So you might as well just jump in, right? <laughs> Does the huntress wear a costume or a mask? <laughs> <laughs> I... You will see. Uh, you will see. It's um, it'll be great. Whatever you get to see, it'll be fabulous. I promise you. I've seen it, so I, I can promise it's really something. That's all you're getting. What can you tease about her introduction to the viewers? Like when she first appears on the screen, how are we going to be introduced to her? With a punch. <laughs> she she comes in strong. Um, I don't know what I was going to say. That's actually, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. She's a, she's a force. She's a force of nature. She, she yes. certainly is. Um, and not only the Huntress, but Helena is pretty sassy in her own life. Can you talk about the dynamic between um, the character and Oliver? It's very interesting because I think they are... You know, they come from such different backgrounds and, and circumstances, but I think there's something very similar about them. And I think that's what, where that attraction comes from, is that they find something in each other that they can relate to and appreciate. And I don't know that the rest of the world necessarily gets it all the time, so I think that that's where that comes from. It's, it's just sort of an instant, an instant recognition. Are there any are there any TV or movie characters you look to for inspiration on how to play the Huntress or Helena? No, um, I mean I looked I went back to the comics. I think the comics is the best place to start. You know that's where that's where it originated. That's where it, that's where that's what the fans want to see. That's that's where I wanted to go for. I don't think it helps to um, try and impersonate someone else who's already done it because this isn't like anything else. You know, it's completely new and it looks different and it feels different and it's a different different tone and it's not like other comic book things that are around so why not just give it your own original spin so what I, go. we've already seen that um, Oliver doesn't have a problem with killing the bad guys it's not like the Batman where he tries to you know just kind of punch him in the face what's the Huntress's take on murder I think um I think she's she's pretty ruthless and I mean she's she's certainly not as as uh, controlled as she possibly could be. Um, 
I mean, she's she's a vigilante of sorts, and I think in her own head she justifies the choices she makes. Um, and you know, if you're going to question everything you do, then I do it in the first place. So I think, you know, she can be pretty full on, but I think in her own head it's justified. And oh. as a vigilante, where are the elements that you think she could learn from Oliver and him learn from her? Hmm. Um. Sure, I can say. Um, I think, I think, because he's coming from a place of, 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 of justice. Well, no, because they're both doing that. I think they both. I think they're both seeking out their own sort of justice. But I think they've got a lot to learn from each other. I think. I think he has a lot to learn from her and, and likewise. Any skills though that she's going to maybe teach him? In the She's, first she's learning a little, a little along the way. Yeah, yeah, picking up some tidbits. Oliver has a list and a sort of a very pointed mission. Um, what what drives the huntress? What, what, who is she targeting? Well, it's you know all born out of her relationship with her, her family and her father, and, and rectifying the wrongs that were done there. So I think that's where it all comes from. Maybe she doesn't have a list that. <laughs> um, what can you tell us about? Well, Stephen just said you guys have had some fun scenes sorry together. Guys, they need her on set. Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.